We're proud of our role in preserving the names and heritage of the three historic horse farms that make up the 2,400 acres of the North Farm Complex. Even today, we still use the names Spindletop, Main Chance, and Coldstream to refer to specific sections of the farm. Some of the internal roads have the names of horses that once graced these rolling fields. These plots were established in 1969 and are some of the oldest continuous no-till research plots in the nation. The Department of Plant and Soil Sciences conducts research on established crops like corn, soybean, forages, tobacco, and wheat in order to help growers produce more efficiently. But we're also doing work on new crops like hemp and chia that might provide opportunities in the future. So that's what's happening in plant and soil sciences. Now let's go take a look at what's going on in entomology. Well, here at the North Farms with entomology, uh, we have studies and other activities really to support all three missions of the college, research, uh, extension, and instruction. Uh, in terms of applied research, uh, we're looking at new methods to manage uh, invasive insects such as uh, hemlock woolly adelgid, uh, sugarcane aphid, and the brown marmorated stink bug. Uh, one of the cool projects we have going on this year is looking at a new strategy to manage brown marmorated stink bug in sweet corn, and we're looking at something called ghost traps, which would uh, attract the brown marmorated stink bug and kill them. So it's, a, it's an attract and kill strategy that we're using. Uh, in terms of extension, we do uh, agent training out here. We have training for producers. Uh, we look at uh, control strategies, uh, sprayer calibration, sprayer maintenance uh, to help our, our agents with their educational programs. Uh, in terms of instruction, we bring students and classes out here from several different classes on campus and get them an opportunity to understand entomology in the field rather than just in the classroom. Hi, my name is Lauren Fan. I am a PhD candidate in the Department of Entomology and I am on my fourth year of my program. I'm currently looking at the brown marmorated stink bug and the damage it causes in sweet corn and trying to manage it using ghost traps. Well, welcome to the horse unit in the Department of Animal Food and Sciences that's out here at Main Chance Farm. Um, this is a multi-use facility, so we not only do research out here, but we're heavily engaged in the undergraduate program, both for animal science and the equine science and management program, so lots of students take classes out here. And we also have extension events for um, extension agents as well as for 4-H leaders and horse owners. So we try to cover all three of the legs of the Relaine Grant mission. For our research, I think behind me you might see some of our mares and foals. Our main area of interest is in the nutrition of horses, but specifically the nutrition of mares and foals. And so one of the things that we've been looking at recently is how the diet of the mare affects her milk composition, and then how that milk composition affects the health of the foal's GI tract. So we know that in human infants, milk composition is really important. And we think that that's true with foals as well. So this farm is an incredibly important part of our research in biosystems agricultural engineering. One of the great things about it is that it's an operating farm. They do real farm work here, and we're able to piggyback on the top of that to do research that applies at the field level. So one of our projects we have is with alfalfa, and we've been trying to fly drones over the alfalfa and monitor the yield and nutritive value, and we're trying to figure out the exact best method for that. Uh, another project we've done out here is with the tractors and we're going beyond just plain auto steer and looking at how do we create routes that cover the entire field as efficiently as possible so that we can get even more productivity out of our tractors. We're here at the drone flight facility at the University of Kentucky North Farm. This is a brand new facility that we just put together. Uh, it's really at the end of phase one, we're building this pavilion and a grass runway to be able to take off and land drones. Uh, we also have a, a meteorological station in the background that we're going to be using for collecting weather data as well too. A lot of applications out here where we can fly drones over crops and take pictures and then use that for, for management processes. And this is really the ideal location to do it. We have so much variability and an opportunity in this farm to, to collect data. So we're really excited to be here. Ultimately, you know, producers want to be able to manage their fields better and so they need tools to be able to do that. And so. What we're trying to do is develop the models such that when they fly their systems over their fields, they can map out variability and then make some type of management decision. These plots were established over 50 years ago, and we're still collecting data that's useful to today's farmer. 
That's what's going on out at the North Farm. Thanks for coming out and visiting us.